Okay, next step. Creating the featured content. Let's make a new group and call it Featured Content. Now we need to create a horizontal guide at 270 pixels from the header. So that's about here. Drag a guide. And this is where our featured content will be placed. Okay, so create a new rectangle over that section. The color doesn't really matter because this will be our image placeholder. So make sure to name it image placeholder. And now you can put your image there. So from file place embedded we're going to choose our picture. As you can see it's pretty big. I'll show you how to resize it in a minute. Now you can either create a clipping mask by holding down the Alt key and clicking between the placeholder and your image like so or again out and click to deactivate this you can choose the layer with command the placeholder with command and select add layer mask whichever way you prefer so now we want to resize this picture and if you've you have created a layer mask. Before you start resizing, you need to first get rid of this little chain here because otherwise the mask will start resizing along with the image and we don't want that. We don't want this placeholder to be outside of our guides. So just click on the image itself like so and Click on Command plus T to turn on the Free Transform tool. Either that or just edit and choose Free Transform, whichever way you think it's best. So let's just zoom out a little. And now, while they're resizing the image, make sure to hold Shift and Alt. So your image will stay in perfect place. And just move it a little. And there we go. So group these two layers. And name that group featured image. All right, so let's take a look at what text we need to add. We need to add this title, this demi text, and this call to action. But first we need to create the background for the text. So create a new layer. And we want this featured content section to be about 300 pixels in height. So what you can do is click on the rectangle tool and just press anywhere on your page and you will see the create rectangle options where you can input the width and height and Photoshop will automatically create your rectangle. So we want it to be 650 width and 300 height. 
and here is your rectangle. So all you have to do is just, first of all, let's make it white so we can actually see it, and then move it right below the image. Let's put a guide there also. There we go. And name that background featured PG. Now for the text, select the horizontal tab tool, create a new layer, and your font should be Arial, but this time bold. Let's make it about 30 pixels. And its color should be 009A7C, which is the green color we've been using. Okay, so click anywhere and start typing premium mail bakery email template. However, let's make the email template part of this text to be 525252. Five, 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 A nice dark gray color so that the premium mail bakery part of the text stands out more. So to align this text, again, holding command, click on the background, click on the text, and this time choose Align Horizontal Centers, which is this one. And your text is aligned. Also, we want to have about 50 pixels distance between the image and the text, so zoom in a little. Pick up the marquee tool and 50 pixels is oh, almost where I put the text. So we just need to move it a little with the arrow keys. And there we go. We should also put 50 pixels on the bottom so that Uh, here. There we go. Now for the dummy text, what you can do is create a new layer, select the type tool, but this time don't just click on the page, hold the mouse so you create a field. And here, let's just adjust our font, make it Arial regular, make it 14 point. And also, this is also important, in the character section, make the line spacing about 23 or letting. Let's call it line spacing. Also set the color to 6B, 6B, 6B. A lighter gray color. Now instead of writing yourself all that dummy text, all you have to do is select type and paste lorem ipsum. And here is your dummy text. Now select all the text with command and A and center align it. This text should be about 30 pixels below the title, so one, two, three. Also, we want to put about 20 pixels padding so let's see 20 drag a guide there and another 20 
and drag a guide there. And now align your text to be within those guides. We can end here. So it's nice and centered. On second thought, let's make that text a little less because we won't have room for our button. So there we go. For the call to action button, select the rounded rectangle tool and click anywhere on the page like we did with the rectangle earlier and we want the radius to be 5 pixels and the width to be about 130 and the height about 40 pixels and click OK and here is your button which we can align here Let's change its color to F zero B five one seven. That's the yellow color we used earlier because it stands out from the rest. So let's align that button in the center of the container. There it is. Now inside the button, write read more and just make that text all caps and change the color to white. 40 point is enough. Let's just align that text within the button so command and click on the button shape click on the text and align horizontal centers and align vertical centers and there we go our button is done let's just name this button pg and let's group these together name it Read more BTN. And looks like we're done with the featured content.